Hello again, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. Earlier today we received an email from a customer and what happened to him is something that's unfortunately quite common. Uh, he had an older version of CoinManage on his machine. The hard drive died, but luckily he still had the, the database file from CoinManage. So he wanted to upgrade to the latest version. He upgraded to our new 2015 version, but now he needs to know how to get his old data file back into the program. So what you see right now is an empty version of CoinManage 2015 freshly installed and we're going to show you how to get his data file back. Now he had the data file on a USB flash drive and here it is right here. So what we're going to do first of all go back to the CoinManage 2015 select file go to data folder and what that does is open up the folder where the CoinManage data file is installed. Now you notice here there's a coindesk.ldb and that means that the that's a lock file that means that the data file is currently locked. The reason it's locked is because CoinManage is open. So to resolve that we simply exit CoinManage and the file disappears so coindesk.ldb is unlocked. Now we're just going to go ahead and rename this. You can click on the file and select F2 or just click and the edit box will appear so we'll just rename it. Now going back to the USB drive, here is our customer's old MDB file. So we're going to click copy, come back into the CoinManage 2015 data folder, select paste. Now the file is going to copy over. Now we need to rename the customer's file to coindesk.mdb because that is the name CoinManage expects when it runs the program. So. Just go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Coin Manage again. And you can see here that the customer's data is now in the program. Uh, there's one problem though, and that is that the customer used the previous version of Coin Manage, so you don't see the 2015 value tables, or any, and you're not going to be able to see the latest coins that we've added to the database. So, see here, he's got what value tables from four or five years old. So to resolve that what we need to do is simply select file update data file and what this is going to do it's going to take a while first of all and what it's doing is it's importing the value tables from the latest version of CoinManage the 2015 all the new 2014 coins we've entered and it's going to basically append them to the customer's data file and bring the customer's data file up to date. While we're waiting for this, um, one thing you can do on YouTube is you can subscribe to a a channel and we have a channel here called Coin Manage Coin Collecting Software so please take the time to subscribe to our channel and what will happen I believe is every time a new CoinManage video comes out you'll be notified and there we go now the best thing to do after you've done uh, this import is basically just exit the program and start it again so we exit start again now you're gonna see here we go with the new data new value tables from 2015 and the latest PCGS values so that's uh, there's other ways of doing this but we'll keep it simple and uh, just show this particular method for this video thanks for watching